Well, there are a number of uh, strategies in place to uh, prevent and control diabetes mellitus. I believe that there's an obesity epidemic in North America which has led to uh, a preponderance of diabetes, higher incidence, particularly in women over men when you adjust for body mass index. And so I think strategies to reduce uh, the incidence of and prevalence of obesity is really the way to go to prevent diabetes. So there are a number of strategies in place. The first, of course, is diet and exercise. Diet, I think, uh, is incredibly important but hard to adhere to. We have some promising data just released in the New England Journal from the Mediterranean diet with high uh, intake of uh, olive oil and of nuts and leg legumes, which suggests that we can really get there with uh, a, a diet. We can get patients adherent and prevent cardiovascular disease. We also know it can prevent the, uh, the increase in diabetes. So we think that with uh, more, more studies of, di of diets that are metabolically friendly, that we can make it up the difference. The second is exercise, an exercise program. What we tell our patients is, there's two things I tell my patients. Number one is exercise in a social friendly environment. So it's much better, for example, to play a, an hour of soccer than to go to the gym and sit alone and uh, on your own. And I think that's one of the issues. Make it something where the exercise is sort of not on your mind every minute, you're actually enjoying yourself and socializing. We're trying to study that actually to show people that it's a, there's more benefit from socially friendly uh, leisure activity. The second thing is to have a buddy system, not somebody that you live with, not your spouse or your children, but maybe someone from work or somebody even that you met uh, at the gym or whatever that's your buddy. That it's like Alcoholics Anonymous. You're supporting each other, you're being honest with each other and helping your way through it. So I think new strategies to make it the psychosocial element of this more friendly is important. The next is drugs to prevent obesity and I think there are going to be some promising drugs on the horizon um, and there are already some on the market but I think the real advance will be in the GLP-1 agonists uh, like loriglutide, uh, which holds the promise of not only treating diabetes on in those who have diabetes but preventing diabetes by uh, considerable weight loss and I think those types of drugs uh, these types of gut peptides and other compounds will come down the road, but I don't think we're there yet. So I think it's really diet and exercise on one end. The tip of the iceberg is bariatric surgery, where we actually laparoscopically go in and either resect part of the stomach or bypass part of the stomach. And this has shown great promise to prevent diabetes. It's shown great promise to treat diabetes. Uh, and I think that's where the future lies.